Hi everyone and welcome to another video on YouTube channel of Tutorialspedia.com. In this video, I will explain step by step how we can use Tipco BW6 to invoke a SOAP web service. For this web service, I will use a sample publicly available web service and I will show you how we can consume that web service from our Tipco BW6 process. Before I proceed with this tutorial, I will request you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed before so that you are able to get latest videos when I upload. Alright, so the scenario that I am going to implement in this uh, tutorial uh, using Tipco BW6 to consume a SOAP web service uh, will be uh, based on a Tipco BW process where I will be using HTTP receiver as a process starter and this receiver will receive one query parameter, a numeric value, which will be a number. And then I will be calling a publicly available SOAP web service for converting that uh, input from the numeric format into the text format. For example, if you will provide input as 3931, then this service will convert it into uh, in, in the text format 3931. So without further ado, let's directly jump into the implementation uh, using Business Studio in BW6. I have already opened uh, Business Studio uh, for Tipco BW6, so I will directly jump into the implementation. For that, I will create a new project using File, New, and I will choose Project. And from the Business Works, I will choose Business Works Application and click Next. I will give a name to this project, uh, Data Converter. You can name it anything and you can see here that a module has been created, will be created with the name Data Converter dot module. I will click on next and I will keep everything default. Uh, all the folder structure and the assets details that are provided, I will keep it as is. And I will just click next and then finish so that project structure gets created under the Project Explorer as you can see. So now once we have this project structure created, now the next thing that we will have to do is to start implementing our uh, process. But in order to implement our process, uh, let me just delete the default process that gets created as we will create our own process. So I will delete this process under the processes folder. And first thing that we need to do is to uh, import the WSDL that we will be calling. This WSDL that we will have to use is available publicly on this uh, URL data access.com slash web service uh, server and let me just copy this visdel and I will put it into my uh, project. So I will use the resources folder and I will create new and from others I will choose visdel file. So let's name it like data conversion dot visdel click next and just click finish and now go to the source and replace this with the one that you copied you will have to remove this first line as i copied from the browser so i will just save it now if you go into the design tab as you can see that this web service publicly available web service has two um, functions or two operations number two words and number two dollars for our uh, uh, tutorial we will just use this number two words operation so now we have visdel ready next thing that we need to do is to uh, create a http connector as uh, in our use case we will be receiving the inputs in the form of a query parameter uh, using http connect receiver so let's go into the resources folder again and then create a new http connector so i will not uh, rename it i will keep the name as default and then I will have to specify the host and port for this HTTP connector. For the sake of simplicity, I will use literal value as localhost and port I will use 8088. You can use any of the available ports from your machine. So this uh, mod, uh, HTTP connector resource has been created. Now we go into the processes folder and under the package, we will create a new business works process. I will name it as a converter. Let's name it like a number converter. And I will choose empty process and I will click finish. 
now this uh, empty process has been created so inside the process i will use add activity and from http palette i will use http receiver for this http receiver in the general tab i need to select the http connection which we already created so i have selected the connection context path i will choose conversion slash conversion so that whenever this process will be uh, tested uh, user will have to enter localhost colon 8088 slash conversion and then he will have to specify the parameter. So for that in the parameters I need to click on this plus button and add a new parameter. I will name it as uh, number numeric value. I will name it like numeric value and I will make it required. Okay, so the next I need to invoke the web service operation. For that, I will select this digital resource and I will drag it here and I will choose this invoke operation. So the operation that I want to invoke is number two word. I will click on OK and uh, I will choose here SOAP 12. So now this invoke activity has been added into our process and let me connect it with the HTTP receiver and now I need to specify the inputs. For the input to this operation I will map query parameter that I will receive from HTTP receiver. So I just map it and I need to use this fix button because it will be converted from string to long. Okay, so after that, I, I will do a log activity as I want to log the response. So for the log activity, you can go into the uh, general activities and choose log. And let me connect it and input to the log activity. I will just choose the message and here I will map the response of the operation. So the response of the operation will be logged using this log activity. The last thing that I want to do here is to add a response because we, uh, we are using HTTP receiver. So we need to use send HTTP response activity so that whenever this service is called, we send back a response in the same session. So in the send HTTP response, first I need to choose that this response is reply is for which receiver as we have HTTP receiver. And in the input, I will send the response from this uh, operation output directly, map it to the ASCII content. I will not make anything fancy here, no changes, just direct mapping from the output of the operation to the input of the HTTP response. Remember that this is very simple approach I'm using. This is not a actual production uh, approach because I'm not doing any uh, error handling here. Uh, if you want to use exception handling, you can use this option to create catch or create catch all and then you can specify. Uh, let me do that so that it becomes more clear. So I have created an exception block and here I will again add a HTTP response so that in case of error also we want to send some response back. So I will add send HTTP response and here also I will have to choose that this reply is for HTTP receiver and in the input I will just specify the error that we receive. So I will go to dollar $error and map error message here. So in, in case of error we will be returning this error message. So with this we have completed the basic implementation of this process which will be consuming our SOAP web service as uh, we have created it now we need to uh, load this so that it starts running so let's go to uh, this option of run business works application we will go into the console and once it will be running we will go into the browser and we will specify http localhost colon 8088 slash conversion question mark numeric value is equal to let's give 677 let me just confirm if the process has started. Now it's still loading. And also let me just confirm that the parameter that I'm specifying is correct. 
so parameter is numeric value which is correct so once it loads then we will hit this service and we will receive back the response depending on the specifications of your machine this can be slow or it can be fast as you can see right now in my machine uh, it's a bit slow and it's loading and once it loads and it's running then uh, we will be able to consume this service and once we will call this service we will be expecting uh, some and the same value in the console as well since we are using the logger here so it should be logged as well as the response should be sent back to the client right now if you try to hit it you will not receive a response because service is still not running ah it's running now so you can see you have received a response 6 177 if we change the value to something else like 923 we get the response 923 and if we go into the console we can see that same information getting logged into the log as well so this is how you can use uh, tipco bw6 to consume soap web services and i hope that this tutorial will help you to understand the basic concepts how you can utilize this great uh, tool by TIPCO and TIPCO BW6. Uh, you might observe differences compared to what you have in TIPCO BW5. But overall, uh, this uh, TIPCO BW6 is very handy product and it has a lot of uh, great features that you can explore. And uh, please do subscribe to the channel so that you are able to get more and more videos like this in future as well. Thank you very much.